Hey everybody, it's Nick Walters here at UAPB, joined by that man, Mark Evans II, the offensive tackle at Pine Bluff, and announced last week as a part of the Denny's All Pancaker team. Look, only four guys on that team. We're talking about Ohio State, USC, Clemson, but then UAPB, how'd that all happen? I mean, I would have to say that Denny's hit me up one day before practice, I'm gonna say like, and they asked me, they gave me an opportunity you know, to be a part of the team, and I'm like, you know, it's amazing, like, you know, to be at the HBC and have that opportunity, you know, coming with, like, so many other different, you know, offensive linemen candidates at Power 5. You see the one I had, you know, the Mr. Early, you know, the USC, Clemson, Ohio State and all that. So, you know, to, get, to have an opportunity to be the only HBCU and the only FCS candidate on the list was, you know, just amazing to me. And, Mark, you're a four-year starter, classified as a junior. Your accolades are out of this planet right yes, now. Yes, sir. An All-American on those levels, as well as multiple all-conference listings. So take us through your accolades that led to you being an all-pancaker. All right, I would say, you know, the four-year starter was the one. You know, I've been starting since I got here my freshman year. And the year after that is when I first started, got my first accolade. I was a sophomore. I got first team all sweat, you know, which is crazy because, you know, like, being so young, you don't really see sophomores, you know, in the class on that list. You know, I was on there. Then next year, the following year, I was able to get the – First team all conference again. Then I was able to be ranked as one of the top 10 players at HBCU. Then I was able to get the HBCU Classic All American, also Box Tour All American. So, as a former offensive lineman, I got to say, it must be one heck of an honor to be called an all pancaker on any national level. One yes, of four players. So, just take us through what it means to you to have this honor and also for your name to be known as one of the better pancakers, the drivers of blockers in this nation. You know, it's amazing because, you know, as an offensive lineman, you know, the mindset and goal is to finish every block. So, you know, the pancake block is when you're finishing, you know, somebody on their back. And, you know, so it's like amazing just to, you know, like be honored to, you know, have my play like seen on national level as being one of the best to ever do it. Or not to ever do it, but the best doing it at the moment right now. So, you know, it's kind of cool just, you know, to get the notoriety because, you know, us big guys, we normally don't get the, you know, all the grace and everything we deserve. The fact that you got to Arkansas, take us through your journey through football to where now you're on the UAPB team and you're known as an all pancake. Yes, sir. Taking you through my foot my football career, I ended up, you know, getting a couple of D2 offers, Juco offers, stuff like that. And I actually signed to a junior college before I signed to uh, UAPB. And I ended up getting this offer like the day of my graduation, actually, which was crazy. So, you know, I ended up just, you know, taking a shot on it, you know. I kind of worked, and this is why I'm here right now. I mean, take us through back what it was like in St. Louis, Houston, being a high school senior, not having any of those big time offers. Could you ever envision you being in this chair right now, being sponsored by Denny's? Yes, you know, growing up in St. Louis, my first sport was actually boxing. You know, I could see you play basketball today, but you know, growing up in St. Louis, you know, it's kind of like you have to learn how to, you know, it's kind of a struggle out there. So, you know, you got to learn how to, you know, move different, you know, you learn how to. Just, you know, actually just, you know, you go through a lot of adversity going up out there, you know, it's a lot of, you know, crime, stuff like that, things things of that nature, stuff like that. So, you know, my mama, she wanted us to, she wanted a better lifestyle for us overall and a better opportunity. So, you know, she ended up moving us to Houston, which is where I was able, you know, to first get introduced to football. Around seventh grade, that's when I first played organized football. So, you know, I haven't been playing in all my life. As I mentioned, I was a boxer at one point in time. So, you know, I was able to just, you know, get the football, I never actually really you know planned on actually going to college with it. So, you know, around my junior year, that's when I kind of like took it seriously, you know, to be able to just, you know, get offers and get my school paid for for free. But, like, you know, this is like all amazing. I never imagined myself getting sponsored by Denny's, you know, being here starting, you know, being all conference, even all American, you know, just the grace of God, you know, just being a hard worker, just continuing to work. That's incredible. And you know, Mark, a lot of people out there are going to be seeing your highlights tonight. The highlights of an all pancaker. What is the mindset that you have on the field that allowed for you to get this kind of honor? My mindset on the field is always finished. You know, just be the one, you know, to do my job. So, you know, be the, you know, the example for everybody else on the field. You know, I'm working hard. They seem working hard. Maybe, you know, they increase their play by me seeing me playing hard. They want to play hard as well. So, you know, I go out there on the field, just do my job. I don't really talk too much. People, you know, they talk, you know, they if they know me, they know I don't really say too much. I just go out there and I do. Well, you flip the switch on the field, and that's what yes, matters, sir. right? Well, yes, I'll tell sir. you what, UAPP has a really, really flipped the switch uh, in recent years on the football field, being the SWAC runner-up last year. What do you see out of this football team for the Golden Lions coming up? Out of this football team, you know, look at us getting back to that big stage. You know, this time, you know, around this time, I mean, I'm going to say around this time, but last year, you know, we got to the big stage last year, but we ended up losing. A, a well far games Alabama and them. But you know, this year we just working on trying to, you know, take each game one by one, get a win, stack them up. Like, you know, you stack up pancakes and just be able to just get back to that stage and, you know, this time put on the better performance and 
this time up, come out there with the win. And I'll tell you what, UAPB football really has seen a whole resurgence in recent years. What has been the change made inside this program to allow for a SWAC championship runner-up and possibly a SWAC championship this year? You know, we come here, you know, we come here losing 90 to 6, you know, and, you know, it wasn't just the, the players, you know, we come here with a new mindset, you know, we all changed our mindset, you know, that we can actually, you know, win this thing if we actually put our mind to it and buy in and lock in what our coach is telling us each and every day. You know, they out there telling us, you know, practice hard, you know, that we can do it. So, you know, we all just, you know, bought into what he was saying. And The NIL stuff has been in the news a lot lately. So and you've been a part of that as well as hundreds of other athletes in this country. So after going through this process, what do you make of it? Just kind of going forward for all the future college athletes out there who could profit off of their name, image, and likeness? I would say if you're able to get the opportunity, you know, to make money off your face, your name, and your, your image, just, you know, do it. Because, you know, in the past, people have been getting in trouble for just doing stuff like this. So to be able to do it legally is just a blessing. As far as Denny's pancakes and whatnot, I know there's the obvious connection between offensive linemen getting pancakes, being dirty out there and whatnot. Yes, but sir. why would you say you personally, it's just such a good fit? Man, because if you watch the film, I make pancakes. So, you know, Denny's make pancakes. So, you know, why not partner with one of the best at the best at doing what they do, so that's what I would put it. Well, I'll tell you what, it's September 2021, and you're officially an all-pancaker yes, in sir. America. So what's the future hold for you, you think? I mean, the future is bright for me. I hope, Hopefully, I'm hoping the future is bright for me. You know, hopefully I can keep on making a name for myself on the national level, and hopefully I can make a name for myself with the scouts this season by playing well and, you know, getting a lot of pancakes. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, a lot of offensive linemen and former offensive linemen like myself are very grateful for your opportunity and a little jealous about your all pancaker time. Yes, sir. Set. So appreciate your time, Mark, and best of luck this season. All right, Troy, well, we're here with Mark Evans, the new all pancaker, and you got to check him out for the UAPB football team coming up through the rest of the season.